Hearing the sound a pharaoh makes tends to make you jump a little. Your first thought is to figure out where is he going to be flying in from. Pull up a chair and I'll show you an easy way to handle even multiple ferals at a time. Howdy y'all and welcome back for some more State of K2 action. When you're in a vehicle and you see or hear a feral and you want to take him out, the first thing you need to do is to stay calm. Most of our experience trying to take out a feral with a vehicle has been trying to take him out head on. And what happens? They jump out of the way. My first encounter with a feral was on the road between the Firewatch Tower, the starter base in Providence Ridge, and Rusty Rosie's home site. I didn't even know what they were. I just know it kept moving every time I tried to run it over. So what do we do? You can try and fake it. You know, when you drive up on him and then try and guess at the last minute which way he's going to jump. You can even try and go at him so fast that, you know, you're hoping they don't have time to jump out of the way. But trust me, there is a much easier way. Now, stay with me. Slow down and let it get closer to your vehicle. You're going to do what? I'm serious. Most of the time, the feral has spotted you and is running for your moving vehicle. You might not even see him yet, but you can hear his beady little paws. You know it's behind you, or at least it's getting ready to be. Let it get behind you and straighten up your path, because we're getting ready to back over him. It may take a little practice with the timing, but since they're close to the car, they don't jump out of the way. You can do multiple ferals the same way. Like when you get a pack of three ferals in Lethal. This can work the same way going forward. The technique is the same. It's a directional change. Let them get close and do your thing. If this or any of my videos help you out, please consider subscribing to my channel. It costs you nothing and uh, it helps me not only grow my audience, but continue to provide content like this. Also, if you have any tips for how to deal with ferals with vehicles, please put them in the comments. I'll put them in a pinned comment so that others who are eager to learn how to deal with this stuff can gain from that knowledge. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.